A lot going on in Midtown right now. A frightening, shattering experience for many people. Let's go out on the street to Arthur Chien. He's there live. Arthur, tell us where you are and what you're seeing. Well, Jim, we're standing on 41st Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue here. I'm just going to ask the cameraman to push into the shot. We've been showing you some footage of it. It is still as powerful as it was when this first started about 20, 25 minutes ago. There's first news that there was some sort of explosion, which obviously New Yorkers are very sensitive to. A lot of people running out of their buildings, running across 42nd Street east from 3rd Avenue. And that's when we came upon the building. This is in the in middle of that intersection of Lexington and 41st Street right now. You see a lot of people gathered in the foreground. A lot of people were running. A lot of people were getting trampled as they were trying to get away from the scene there before we can assess, before we had uh, the ability to access, uh, assess exactly what it was that was going on here. Now, talking about structural problems, there are some unconfirmed reports of some injuries at this hour. We cannot confirm the exact nature of it. They do not seem to be serious. We got on scene before a lot of emergency emergency vehicles got here, so usually we would look at the number of ambulances and decide how serious they are, especially by the number of ambulances that leave a scene at this moment. Now, traffic you can see in the foreground is still moving. The 3rd Avenue traffic, as you can see, is going from left to right. You see a couple of buses moving there. They've shut down this part of the access from the Queens Midtown Tunnel. So coming into Manhattan is something we would strongly discourage right now, given that this is very close to where the Midtown Tunnel lets out. But a lot of people gathered here. A lot of people were very concerned about what happened. You spoke of uh, public transportation. We want to tell you about that. There are essentially two lines that come close to this here. You have the 7 train that runs across 42nd Street, and you have what's called the Lexington Line. But here in this area, it actually runs on Park Avenue. And that's the reason why 456 service right now, for the most part, is still running. But as you said, it's being bypassed, and it's a smart thing because they don't want any traffic in this area. Quite frankly, a lot of people fled on foot to get out of this area so they can catch the trains in the periphery of it. Number 7 train is also a block up from here, which should re be reasonably okay. You mentioned Metro North. That should be fine because Grand Central is a terminus for Metro North. Their trains run 42nd Street and north of it. Right now, 41st Street is the key. Now, Kenton Young and I, a photographer, were on the north side of this between 41st and 42nd Street on Lexington Avenue, and the conditions there were not very good. The building that is between 41st and 42nd Street on the west side of the avenue seems to be a very large building, some sort of a landmark building, and pieces of it, bricks of it, chunks about this size were falling off and getting blown down into the street. You can see the power of the steam behind us. That could represent a major problem for the structural soundness of that building. Also, considering whether or not people could have gotten out of that building is something that we have not been able to answer of yet. They have an exit on 42nd Street on the 42nd Street side, which would be the best way to get out of that building. But right now, this thing happened when still a lot of people are at work. We're not sure if everybody got out there yet. There's obviously a lot to talk about here. But right now, we go back to you, Jim.